What up? It's your boy Blaze back with another video. So, the Vita hunt continues, as you guys know. I've been. It's getting harder and harder to be fine. You know, I look for these Vita games, and GameStop has them. Okay, but for the you know, and they do have limited editions. You'll be surprised. Ask them, because when I walk into GameStop, every GameStop I walk into. There's a tiny section for the Vita. I mean, it's laughable, okay? But on that wall, they do have new titles. And what sucks about GameStop is they only get maybe one or two, so they're, they open it. So this is a sealed game, and they're open them up. They open the game up and put the display box, you know, to show what they have new. So... When you buy that game, you're getting it, but it's already been opened. You know what I'm saying? So just be aware of that. And also be aware of when you walk into GameStop, if the Vita display shows, uh, you know, 10 games, if you just go ask them, I guarantee you they have limited editions and stuff like that that they just don't put out there because there's no display for it. They, they don't get enough. They don't even have enough cases that to hold the Vita. That's, you know, it's... That's what it is right now. So always ask, hey, what do you got for Vita games back there? They'll print you out a list or they'll show you what they got in their draw. Like this girl did for me. She was, sh man, she showed me so much shit, man. I'm over here looking at my my bank, my bank statement like, God damn, I'm about to go back. Like, I can't help it, man. Like some of these games I haven't seen. Okay, um... I'm just going to say right now, man, I found and, and I, I got a rare game. I finally got this game. I'm so happy. A PS Vita title and I finally got it. And I, I, I'm seeing this going from anywhere from uh, starting at $80 all the way up to 300 I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. I When you find this game complete, it's crazy. The value is awesome. If you find it just with the cartridge... Usually, when you look for this game, all you're going to find is this game without the box, without the artwork. But anyway, I'm just going to start off with non-related Vita pickups. And then I'll start with the Vita. Not too much this week, but nonetheless, here we go. So, I went to a pawn shop that I'm not going to show. I went to the pawn shop, I picked up a PS2 with an official Sony PlayStation 2 controller, the, the smoke see-through black, really dope, came with Madden 09, came with the Madden 09, by the way, it looked terrible, uh, I tried it, booted right up, worked, uh, no memory card, but official controller, came with the network adapter, this is the big boy PS2, the original, in mint condition, man, mint condition, um, so yeah, I picked that up for 20 bucks. Also, I picked up for seven dollars. I'm gonna show you the, these two games. Look at this. This is sealed. The Witcher 2, which is uh, you know, and I, I'm hearing mixed opinions that the Witcher 2 doesn't run. There's a lot of frame drops on the Xbox 360 via backwards compatibility, but um, this is like a limited edition. I'm not sure, but it's got a bunch of extras in it, as you can see. Two-sided game world map. Awesome. Like, look at this. Look at this, how f awesome this is. Sealed, baby. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, yeah, let's open this up. $7 for these two titles. It's It drives me crazy, man. Like, I cannot believe it. Yo, check out pawn shops, man. Stop leaving... You know, because people don't want to go to the pawn shop anymore. Maybe there's not one close by, man. But you'd be surprised. And they'll work with you, man. They're like, uh, you know, they had these at like $15 each. And I'm like, dude, all I got is 7 bucks on me. Because I just had bought the PlayStation. And they worked with me, man. So, look at that. Look at that. What a beast of a game. I cannot wait to play this. Real shit, man. Cannot wait. Look at that. Look how nice this is to have a manual, man. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Look how dope that is. Look at that. Fully complete. I I, I got it for $7. I'm talking both games I'm about to show you. So, 
I don't know if anybody has seen this. This is an old title, old game, but you know, I'll just show it. It's just a map. Uh, cool, man. Really cool. Cool uh, art. There you go. Really cool. So, The Witcher 2, man. I know people say it's not a good version of it on the, you know, played on PC, but uh, at this moment, I don't have a PC, but I'm working on it. So, Witcher 2, I got this again for under, let's just say, three, I got this for $3.50, $3.50 sealed, brand new, awesome. Look at this, the other one I got. I just had to pick it up. I, I think I do have Red Dead Redemption uh, physical already, but why not? You know, for $3.50, I got them both for 7 bucks. Um, this is great. These things are annoying. Okay. Bang. Awesome. Seal. Hold on. Let me get a smell. Mm. Smells like a used game from a pawn shop. Baby. What's this? A poster? Hold up. Wow. Cool fucking shit. Cool shit. Cool art, man. I love art, man. Wow. Look at that. And that's the top. Um, and then, man, like how it's mapped. This is the whole map of Red Dead. Um, look at that. That is cool. That is real cool. So, there you have it. Red Dead uh, Undead Nightmare. Also picked up, not at the pawn shop. Now this is a GameStop. I have a, uh, I bought Little Man a 2DS. Uh, he he just can't comprehend it. He can't. He's getting better at it, but he can't. He can't really get the hang of it. But Super Mario 3D Land. I've been wanting to play this on the Wii U for the longest time, um, and I can say it runs well. It doesn't look. Obviously as good as the Wii version, man. I wish they would just port that Wii version over to the Switch, man. Like, god damn it. That, 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 like, they they need that shit on the Switch. Like, you know what I mean? Um, there you go. Pre-owned. Bought it at GameStop. Um, and it's uh, complete. Came with everything. The game's not in here. It's in the system. You know, came with all the manuals and shit. So, yeah, dude. This is a great game, man. Even uh, my girl's been playing this. She loves this shit, man. God, Mario games. I don't know what it is, man. But... Um, I'm not sure what I paid for it, but it wasn't too expensive. Classic, classic, classic. Gotta have it. Now, on to the Vita. There's only about six ti- uh, Oh, and by the way, uh, shout out to my boy Mo. I seen him at work. He pulled this off. I'm like, bro, give it to me. You know what I mean? Cool. Holds memory cards. He just gave it to me for free. So. Okay. Let's start off. Asphalt Injection. Um. This is a racer, obviously, um, and it's a fr it's it's such a fun drifting arcade racer. It has a boat. It has a lot of cars. Of forty five plus licensed cars: Ferrari, Porsche, you know, Lamborghini, you name it, Nissan. It's fun, and uh, I paid what eight, not eight bucks, nine bucks for it. Awesome. Look at this, yees, man. This look. I I used to play these games on the PSP. And uh, finally, they released the Vita version a while back. I just happened to find it. Like I said, I asked the lady, I said, do you have any more Vita games? And she showed me a box, and this was in it. Um, these games were classic on the PSP. They, they made a huge comeback on the PSP. So I'm so glad to have this um, in my library because I needed it because it comes in a huge special edition as well. Look at this. There's a little damage here, but I can change that. You see that? But other the game's not damaged, the artwork's not damaged, it just looks like I don't know what the whoever had this. But uh, I have plenty of these blue things right here. So this is an awesome classic series, man. I recommend playing or picking this up.
Virtue's last reward. Um, heard a bunch. Look, this was like uh, 18 bucks. But when I seen, I never, look, when I don't see games around, like when I go to GameStop, I see the same games. You know, you see the Uncharted, everybody's beating them. They've traded, you know, you see the, 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 black, the, the, Batman's the Borderlands, but when you see games like this man, I don't see these too often. I really don't and uh, This is like a visual novel if I'm not mistaken uh, pretty gory really gory actually um So uh, I had to pick it up. It was like 17 bucks again people I'm going for a collection and uh, You know I'm going for the full collection, so I you know, I just decided to pick it up so I mean whatever Okay, now, Injustice, uh, I got this on the PS4 as well, this is the Vita version, man, look how cool this is, it's just, the fight, look, the Vita's got one of the best D-pads ever, I'm dead serious, the Vita's got the best D-pad, man, um, had to have it, I didn't have this in, in, look at 9.5 out of 10, I did not have this on the Vita, at all, I don't know why, I have it for the PS4, I don't have it for the Vita, Awesome, glad, glad to have it. I'm just glad, man. I love picking up Vita games, man. Son the boat, man. Really addicting. It's really becoming fun for me. Look at this. Extreme Legends Dynasty Warriors 8 Complete Edition. Dynasty Warriors, man, it's the funnest. Like, these games are just fun. I, I can already picture it, throwing it in, just going around, slicing the shit out of people and keeping it moving. They also got Dynasty Warriors next. Which I tried. It was a demo. I, I recommend trying that, man. That was really fun. That's what made me when I seen this. I'm like, you know what? I'm picking this up. This was uh, this was under 20 as well. The funny thing about this game and the next one I'm going to show you. I went. I was talking to the chick and she's like hooking me up and we're talking blah, blah, blah. And I go home. I open the thing and there's no game. I was like, uh, I call her. She's like, oh, shit. Sorry. 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 You know, I, we were just talking, you know. You know, I, I usually don't see people that like Vita games. I just got really into it, and I, I forgot to put the disc in. I'm like, oh, no no problem. I'm like, God damn it. I had to drive back and get it. But nonetheless, Dynasty Warriors, man. If you haven't played Dynasty Warriors, especially on the Vita, man, they, they just look so good, and they play so good. So glad to have this. The next one was another one. Boom, Grand Kingdom. Uh, strongly, another game I strongly recommend you play, man. This was another game when I see these. Are, this is another game I never see at the store, especially complete artwork case. I never see these kind of games. I'm talking about Grand Kingdom. I'm talking about Last Reward, shit like that. I don't see those too much. Even even Yeez, Celsetta. I I don't see that. I I never see. This is the first time I've seen this shit. Even Asphalt Injection. Like today, I just seen all these games. So um, this is. This is like a must-have if, uh, this is just a must-have, man. Just go, there's a demo for this, I believe. So go try it out. I'm so glad to have it, man. Awesome. Great pickups today. And this next game, I'm going to tell you right now, okay? Probably scored the worst for Vita games. Uh, probably got a 43 on Metacritic. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. So the deal with this game is, I guess it came out. PS Vita, PS3, Xbox 360, but the Vita version, I guess people were hearing that the game wasn't good or it didn't, just, it just wasn't, it's just not a good game. It's not like, I don't know if it runs bad or not, but I could confirm that people have said the game is trash. So what happened is 505, 505 Games, a Kung Fu Factory, right, whoever published it said, boom, they cut production. So not a lot of these were made physically. And if you go to the PlayStation Store now, you can't even find the game in the store. They removed it from the store completely. That game is Supremacy MMA Unrestricted. Do you understand how rare this game is, man? If you ever see... Look, they, they were selling this at GameStop for $10. They must have got the word. The word must have got around because I looked this up. And it was like 60 miles away. I almost drove and bought it. And the GameStop is selling it pre-owned $30. If you can find it. I was shocked. I called him. He's like, yeah, man. I haven't seen this game come by in GameStop in about three, four years. I'm like, god damn, man. I might go get it. I might go get it. I'm like, does it have a case? He's like, no, it doesn't. 
That's the thing about this game. When you find it, it's usually without the case, without the artwork. If you can find it complete, you're looking anywhere up, for, up from 80 to 150 to 200 dollars. If you find this shit new, man, you're talking 300, 400. Really, it, it it's crazy, man. It's crazy. So if you ever see this game at a GameStop, at a pawn shop, at a goddamn yard sale, pick it up even without the case. Because sometimes on eBay they sell this case without the game. Um, but even if you find it, uh, just the cart, man, trust me, pick it up, man. It's it's worth a lot of money, and it's a rare game, okay? Um, probably not the rarest game, but for for official releases, not limited run, for official releases, this is one of the rarest games you can pick up. Trust me when I say that, okay? And um, I just got to say, man, uh, if you guys actually, you know, let me show this off because I didn't have them in there. There you go. These are the cards. I got Uncharted in there. I don't know why, but there you go. Grand Kingdom, uh, Celsetta, Last Reward. There's the MMA. The MMA looks cool, man. The Blood, Injustice, and Dynasty Warriors. I got Asphalt in the Vita. I wanted to try it. It's it's an okay arcade. You know, it's got trophies. It's an arcade race. The drifting's cool. So, um, you know, by the way, man. If you like remote play and you 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 know you use remote play, this is absolute. This adds. This makes an R2 and an R. Look at L2, R2. You got it. I've showed this off before, but you gotta get it, man. You gotta get it. it. It's just, it's the it's the best shit for remote play. I cannot stress that enough, man. It's just so good. SpongeBob. See, that's I'm talking about little man. So I mean, there it is, man. By the way, look at this D-pad. That's what I was talking about. So, I mean, if you ever find MMA, pick it up. Um, and, I, man, I'm going to say something right now, man. If you've got a PlayStation 4, a PlayStation 3, go give the Vita a chance. The, if This is what I tell people. Should I get a Vita? Should I get a Vita? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Man, look at the current library. If you like the current library, then get it. Okay? Look at, look at the upcoming releases. Believe it or not, there's games releasing all the time. I have three of them pre-ordered. Now, are, are a lot of them JRPGs? Yeah, but there are some good games that are coming out. Okay? So, look at the current library. Look at the features. you got cross-buy. You buy a game on PS4, you get it for the Vita. You buy a game on the Vita, you get it for the PS4 or the PS3. You know what I'm saying? Remote play, bro. It's, you know, so that's what I tell people. Look at the library. You got a PlayStation 4. If you got a PlayStation 4, man, remote play comes in handy so many goddamn times, man. I can't even tell you. So, really cool feature. Anyway, it's your boy Blaze. Mario Kart will be tomorrow. I'll have more pickups next week. I appreciate the love, and I'm out. Peace.